The infamous Julian Assange has made comments in the past related to the announced release of many of his controversial intelligence leaks. He has now stated that there will be UFO-related materials. Recently, WikiLeaks revealed alleged compromised Department of Defense cable communications indicating that U.S. armed forces may be in the midst of a secret war with UFOs. According to the sources that were revealed, there was an all-out alert issued by Air Force Space Command after the emergence of a large flotilla of airborne unidentified objects from the floor of the southern seas of the Antarctic. This armada of unknown objects headed toward Guadalajara, Mexico. It is said that Julian Assange has been falsely accused of sexual assault charges by authorities in Sweden which resulted in his arrest in Great Britain. That one of his accusers, Anne Radin, has fled and is presently in hiding, among the Palestinians, is a strong indication that the charges, according to those familiar with government tactics, is a ploy to silence Assange's evidence. U.S. warplanes are said to have been deployed to meet a massive fleet of UFOs on the 10th of June 2004, and all radar systems intensified on the inbound targets, the massive fleet supposedly then resubmerged into the Antarctic Oceans. Recently, another massive emergence of the unknown objects headed toward the southern tip of South America and flew over Chile. Experts say that the immediate threat posed by these huge displays is the dangerous waves they generate as they surface which is capable of sinking oceanic vessels. In the most recent appearance of the UFO armada from the Antarctic Southern Ocean, one cruise ship was nearly capsized with 160 aboard while another vessel was overturned with a crew of 60 with only 20 rescued survivors. This story was originally released by the European Times Online which had reported that the Russian president was receiving intelligence briefings indicating that the US was involved in secret military confrontations with massive UFO formations originating from underwater bases in and around the Antarctic Oceans. These events corroborate a number of other incidents over the past recent years. In 1991 a wave of UFO sightings swept over Mexico City during the widely awaited eclipse. The luminous objects were recorded by many handheld video cameras owned by citizens and offered to TV news crews. In October 13, 2010 the dramatic appearance of UFO activity over New York City caused the Air Force to shut down air traffic over the city for 24 hours. Thousands of witnesses stood spellbound as they watched UFOs in the skies over the city. Commonly known as unidentified submerged objects USOs, there have been numerous reports over the last four decades of startling appearances of underwater objects suddenly emerging and harassing ships and aircraft. The late Ivan T. Sanderson, a well-known TV personality on animal behavior as well as a former intelligence officer during World War II, published more than one book on the subject considerably ahead of his time. Friends close to him allege that he never gave up his research on USOs, and may even have been viewed as a dangerous nuisance by his former espionage employers. Sanderson contracted a rare cancer that ended his life quickly like so many others who have been deemed inconvenient to sensitive government matters. A massive sighting of USOs terrified several people on the California coast. Police received phone calls from frightened citizens telling them of bright objects emerging from the Pacific and flying into the night sky at rapid speeds. There is a very curious and questionable history of Navy involvement and lost aircraft over the Antarctic continent that compels me to look further. I will keep you all posted. Thank you. Hey, man. 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 Hey,
Humanity stands at the threshold of speed, at the threshold of a greater community of intelligent life in the universe. Humanity has reached a great threshold in its evolution. It has reached a point of no return. From this point on, you have to contain with various forces coming to the world, seeking to gain advantage here. Many people believe the universe is a great empty place, and if life does exist, it is rare. But alas, the situation is very difficult. You are emerging into a very competitive environment. Like everyone in the greater community, you must face the boundaries that life and nature create. Technology cannot surmount most distance. Thus, everyone is facing the problems of survival. 
You have also reached a threshold where humanity will have to choose, even consciously choose, whether it will fight and struggle over these remaining resources in the world, or whether it will unite to preserve them, to secure them, and to attain a stable environment for the future. If humanity is to become a free and self-determined race in the universe, which represents your greater destiny, you must not lose your self-sufficiency within this larger environment. For there are three requirements for a race to be free in the universe. You must be united. You must be self-sufficient and you must be extremely discreet. The creator of all life has brought you knowledge and wisdom from this greater community. Has sent a warning, a blessing and a preparation into the world. It is here to prepare humanity for the greatest event in human history and the greatest opportunity for human unity and cooperation.